Hello and welcome to another lesson uh, that's part of the TI30 XB student course. In this lesson today, we're going to be focusing in on using the function table. Uh, now the function table is a really useful tool, uh, especially for when you're beginning to learn things like linear equations and simple rules, um, particularly with X and Y values as you're kind of beginning um, your algebraic journey. So uh, to access the function table, um, there's just this button here that says table right on your screen. And if you've uh, watched some previous videos, you'd be familiar with the converting fractions to decimals. So it's that same button there, um, but we don't press the second. We can just press straight away, hit that table and it's going to come up here. Now you see um, I've been having a play around already. Um, so we've already got a rule in there, but I'm just going to clear that. Um, and we're going to start off just by looking at the really simple rule y equals 2x plus 1. So I'm going to type in 2. Um, and then I'm going to press use get x just by pressing that variable button there. Now, really important when you're using the function table um, that you just keep that as x. You'll notice that if I continue to press that, it will scroll through some of the other variables. But the function table really just wants you to use x as your variable. Um, so try and keep it on that. Okay. Um, and then plus one on the end. And enter. Uh, now the next menu that you're going to see come up is um, the start step menu. So this allows you to pick what x value you're going to start at and how much you want that x value to go up by. So I'm starting at 0 um, and I want it to go up just in 1. So we're going to start off with a really basic x equals to 1, 2, 3, etc. Um, and the last thing I want to do is just change this um, last bit so it's on auto rather than ask x. So I'm going to use my arrows to scroll across. Make sure that's highlighted and press enter to change that back to auto. Um, we are going to go through a little bit later on in the video the, the um, value of the ask x, which is a really nice little um, thing that this function does. Okay, so we go across, go down so that we're highlighting on OK and just press enter to bring up the table. Um, so you'll see there again, starting at 0, 1, 2. Um, now, another really nice thing is even though we started this table at zero, if we use the arrows on our calculator, we can actually um, press up, which is going to decrease our x values. So you can see there um, we're getting more negative as we go that way. Or if we press down, that makes those values larger. So we can see some bigger x values as well. And also what's happening with the y at the same time. All right, so now just let's look at one that's a little bit more complicated. So to quit out of here, second mode to bring back to your main screen. Um, and then I'm going to press table again, just to bring up um, a different equation. So in here, we're going to type in that one that I had in the screen just before. So 5x plus 6. And you'll notice I can just type directly over the top. So I don't even have to clear that if I don't want to. Um, I can just type it all over again. Um, press enter. And now in this case, we're going to start from a negative value instead. So I'm going to start at negative 2. Um, and then instead of going up in 1s, I want to go up in 0.5s. Uh, so that's going to increase at um, an amount of 0.5 every time. Again, press Enter on OK. And there we can see starting at negative 2, negative 1.5, negative 1. And if I scroll down, I can see more values in there. Uh, it was really handy for filling in those table of values um, when you're beginning to draw graphs. Uh, the last thing I just wanted to show you was um, that ask x function. So again, I'm just going to quit out of here, go back into table. I'm going to keep this as 5x plus 6. Okay, but now instead of going on auto, I'm going to change this so that um, we're on ask x. Now, the, the really cool thing about the ask x, fun ask x function um, is it's very useful for finding y values when you have non-consecutive x values. So say, for example, we wanted to find what's the value of y equals 5x plus 6 when x is equal to 4, 7, and maybe 20. Okay, so we've got three different values that we want to find, um, but they're not consecutive numbers. So we don't want to have to scroll through the whole table. We just want to find those specific three values. So again, I'm going to turn that on to ask x and press OK. Now this is going to look a little bit funny because it comes up and it seems like there's nothing in the table. But what actually we can do is here it says x equals. So I can start off with that first value and type in 4 because the first one I wanted, wanted to find was what's y when x is equal to 4. So I can type in 4, press enter. We can see y is equal to 26. Uh, the next one was 7, 
So I can type in x equals to 7, and there it comes up with 41. And then the last one was 20. So I can type in 20, press enter, and there I get 106. Okay. Um, so again, really useful for when you just want to find a couple of values and not scroll through an entire table to find the value of your rule. Okay, well, I hope that's been useful. Um, thanks very much for listening, and I'll see you next time.